Four Poems by Sappho, translated by Philip Freeman and read by Alan Leubner Wakes. Poem 58. I pray, now a festival, under the earth, having a gift of honor, as I am now on the earth, taking the sweet-sounding lyre. I sing to the reed pipe, fleeing, was bitten, give success to the mouth, beautiful gifts of the violet-laden muses, children, the sweet-sounding lyre, dear to song. My skin once soft is wrinkled now. My hair once black has turned to white. My heart has become heavy. My knees that once danced nimbly like fawns cannot carry me. How often I lament these things, but what can be done? No one who is human can escape old age. They say that rosy-armed dawn once took. Tithonus, beautiful and young, carrying him to the ends of the earth. But in time, gray old age still found him, even though he had an immortal wife. Imagines. Might give. I love the pleasures of life. And this to me. Love has given me the brightness and beauty of the sun. Poem 111 Raise high the roof, Hymenaeus. Raise it up, carpenters, Hymenaeus. The bridegroom is coming, the equal of Ares, and he's much bigger than a big man. The Brothers' Poem. But you are always chattering that Caroxus is coming with a full ship. These things, I suppose, Zeus knows and all the other gods, but you should not worry about them. Instead, send me and ask me to call on and make many prayers to Queen Hera, that Caroxus return here, steering his ship, and find us safe and sound, Everything else, all of it, let us leave to the gods, for fair weather comes quickly from great storms. Those to whom the king of Olympus wishes to send a helpful spirit to banish to toils, these will be happy and rich in blessings. And we, if someday his head is freed from labor and Laricus becomes a gentleman of leisure, May we be delivered quickly from the great heaviness of heart. The Cypress Poem. How can a person not be so often distracted, Queen Cypress, about someone you want so much to make your own. Um. 